Well, what brings me back to Cape Town is um, I used to live here. Uh, I'm from the UK, but lived in South Africa for many years, and uh, my partner is South African. And uh, yeah, we decided to return to Cape Town. She got some, some work at the university here. And um, yeah, so I'm luckily a consultant, get to roam around and uh, work flexibly. I work mainly in climate change policy um, and mainly in cities, so working with, with national government, but, but mainly with local government. So sort of advising them and supporting them on how to take climate action at the city level. So that might involve you know, um, encouraging residents to put solar water heaters on their roof or um, um, retrofitting the council buildings so that they're eco-friendly and sustainability, right through to transport policy, promoting walking, cycling, public transport. There's a whole range of actions that local governments can take that mm -hmm. deliver local benefits, but also help um, mitigate climate change. So my role is to help you through understanding that sort of complex soup and try and uh, deliver some solutions. It's a massive issue all over the world. It's, um, you know, I think the World Health Organization says 97% of people globally breathe air that is um, above their, their legal safe limits um, for things like particulate matter, which is these very tiny bits of dust that get into your lungs and cause all sorts of health effects. Um, and we're only really just understanding how big this, this crisis is. And in places like South Africa, um, uh, it's um, often you have maybe older vehicles in South Africa, you're burning a lot of coal for electricity, mm. so um, it's more a particulates issue. Um, uh, also a gas issue, but may, more perhaps a particulate issue where levels, and you see, that's when you can see the black soot, the black dust coming from power stations and, and landing on people's homes and coming out the backs of cars. Yeah, so, um, you know, as I said, we, this is the first time we've had control over the building that we live in. So we're really looking to make it as eco as possible to live, live our values in terms of um, sustainability. So um, in South Africa, electricity is incredibly dirty and almost entirely produced by coal, which is probably the, well, it is the most um, polluting form of energy that we have, really, uh, that's used on a large scale, at least. So, you know, anything just coming through the plugs here in South Africa, your, your carbon footprint, your um, sort of air quality footprint from all the coal power stations is big. So mm -hmm. you want to reduce your electricity uses as much as possible. That's mm -hmm. the first principle. Um, but of course in South Africa it's very cold in winter. Yep. And so some places in Cape Town it gets pretty cold. The houses are badly insulated. Yes. Um, so you need a heat, you need to have some kind of heating source. And there's not a lot of options. So for us a wood burning stove of high, high quality, of very, very efficient burning that is making as minimum, you know, uh, uh, a contribution to air quality issues that the smoke mm. coming out the top is as particulate free as possible for us is very important. Mm. So wood burning stoves, I think, are a good option um, for heating a home in South Africa given the, the issues around coal generation mm. in your electricity. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think everything you do has an impact. You know, whatever thing you burn is having some mm. kind of environmental mm. impact. So we can't, uh, unless you want to just sit here with 16 jumpers on and chattering teeth, yeah, we decided we wanted to have some heat source. Yeah, um, yeah I think the way that the, the, the trees are harvested is very important, where the, where the wood comes from is very important. Um, in South Africa, we're, we're lucky that by buying invasive wood species that are being cleared by the government, mm. uh, because they have a very negative ecosystem impact by draining a lot of the water out of the ecosystem, contributing to droughts. So there's certain species of wood in South Africa which are being cleared by the government and, um, and by other parties. So, you know, burning that invasive wood, you know you're not having a, an ecosystem impact, mm -hmm. uh, whereas you might do somewhere else in the world if you're, if you're getting, you know, virgin wood. Obviously, no one would want to burn wood that's not being replaced yeah. or, or wood that's not already having a negative impact on the environment. So that's one option. Well, there are many ways to which to try and reduce that impact um, on the fuel you're using. Obviously, there is some carbon emissions being burned um, by burning wood, that's inevitable, but I'd say it's um, relatively less than what you would be doing if you're using your electricity, for example. Yeah. I guess I'm an unusual customer in that I was calling out all these suppliers and asking them for statistics on, uh, <laughs> on their uh, 
and Stowe. So I guess we went for this one because, um, well, one, it's it's meeting this standard, European standard, which is not going to come in until 2022, the eco-ready standard, mm. uh, which covers a variety of pollution indicators. And the one we were perhaps most interested in from a health perspective is particulate matter that's coming out the top mm. for our neighbours yeah. <laughs> here. So that this one is based on my research that I've done, uh, not just looking at Charnel stoves, looking at other stoves that are available in South Africa, I can objectively say this this has the best, um, the, the lowest particulate emissions of any stove that I've researched. So, mm. um, you know, that's that's objective. That's, uh, <laughs> Thank you, appreciate uh, that. Not yeah. just because John would uh, here doing a video. <laughs> I, I've checked their numbers. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, I mean, that's that's why we went for it. It's yeah. got, um, we know it's, it's a high quality stove. Um, it's gonna burn wood efficiently. And then it's, you know, it's got the least, you know, the least particulate matter coming out of the flue of any stove that I have found on the market. I think that's everything we wanted to ask you, Stephen. Um, so thanks loads for letting us interview you. I really appreciate it. And um, we hope you enjoy using your Charmwood stove in the future.